Hello, hi guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. As you guys are watching this, it's my moving day and I am hustling away with the movers. I'm also filming an entire moving day vlog, but I wanted to pop in the house, it's super echoey, of course nothing's in here yet, um, and give you guys an empty house tour before they move in all the furniture and everything tomorrow. Um, I really wanted to film this video with my friend Omar. You guys might know him from Next Level Media. He does amazing edits and just super dope editing and videography, but I think I'm gonna have him film a fully furnished house tour with like, just like cool edits and like, I don't know, I wanted to make it more of like a production for you guys, but a lot of you also say you really like when it's person, when the vlogs are personal, when it's just me holding up the camera and like doing my own thing. Um, so this will just be a very casual walkthrough. I wanted to give you guys an, a full tour of my new house. I can't believe I live here now. I'm so excited, I'm so grateful, I have cried so much. I'm immensely, immensely grateful. Um, make sure you're subscribed to the channel because I've got the moving day vlog coming, a Q&A about buying a home, being self-employed, there's so many questions you guys asked that I wanna do a chit chat about. I also wanna talk exactly about how I manifested this home because it has every single thing physically and with the school district and the type of home I wanted, I literally got every single thing on my list and I went about it a certain way and took certain action in order to bring that into my reality and it worked for me and I would love to share those tips and tricks with you guys. Um, but yeah, before the movers come tomorrow, I want to give you guys a full empty house tour. I'm not gonna show the front or the back just for safety purposes and I am having a pretty intense like security system installed here. I don't think that I'm like so popular or like need that or that anyone would come to my property. I just want everything to be extremely secure with Christian and security is something that I will like pay more for or just have want to make sure that I have the highest quality of just for my son's safety. Um, I also just want to ask, please do not post my address anywhere. It will not uh, be out there. Please don't try to find it. I live with a kid. Like that really scares me. I don't understand why people kind of do that to YouTubers and I would hope that no one would invade my privacy in that way. Um, I don't think you guys will do that. You're amazing, you're the best, but you never know, people get crazy. Um, and this is just such a big accomplishment for me and I'm so proud and excited. I don't want anything like ruining this just moment and exciting time for us. So make sure you guys are subscribed to see all the house videos. Let's go ahead and go to the front of the house and I will show you everything. Okay, so this is right where you walk in. I'm having a like advanced lock attached or built in right here. So you enter in a key code and you put your fingerprint in order to get into the house. Plus I'll be having like two bolt locks up here and then whatever other security system that we um, decide to go with. And then all the house is like a smart house. So I'll show you on my phone app. I can actually turn off the lights on my phone. I can turn on and off the AC. I can shut the garage door if I left it open. Everything goes through my phone. It's like basically a smart house. So when you walk in through the front door, it starts off with this like wood flooring. This is water resistant laminate. And this will take you in here all the way to the kitchen. So there is one room here to the right, which I believe I'm gonna use for my office. And I am gonna have this carpet ripped out immediately and I'm gonna have them just match the flooring that goes in here. Here. A lot of you are asking about the cost for that. I believe for this room alone, it was about $7.75. So I'm gonna be having that room done. Any repairs or anything I end up doing, I don't mind telling you guys about the price, but I really like this flooring and I just want it to match in here. I also might do like a barn door right here, like sliding on a pole up there, kind of like that farmhouse door situation. I'm not gonna show out the front window because it shows my street, um, but there's a lot of natural light coming in here. Sorry about that. Okay, so sorry about that. I had to put my phone on silent. So I believe I'm gonna use this as my office because the street front or the light from outside just shines in and natural lighting is really good for filming. I'm thinking of putting some kind of really pretty backdrop here along with a desk here and then a desk for my assistant right there so we can just get a lot of work done here and I can separate the office versus the personal. The personal will be upstairs. So there's a pretty big enough room here for an office. Then you continue to walk in this way. If you turn to the left, that's gonna take you upstairs. I also am not a fan of this carpet. I'll probably have that ripped out and switched to this flooring. There's a tiny little like nook area here. It's pretty small. I'm not really gonna put anything there. And then if you go to the right, we have this little area here, same flooring. I think I'm just gonna use this to store my keys, maybe put up some photos of Christian. It's just like a nice little like nook area. And then this leads you into the first bathroom, which um, does not have any shower or anything. So I have a lot of space here to go ahead and put um, like a little, not nightstand, but like a little side table there with some flowers or whatever I choose to do. I also like that the ceilings are really, really high. So just basic toilet, sink, and mirror, which I will be taking that mirror down and putting like a really nice wood mirror or something. I'm not sure the exact color scheme that I wanna do yet for this first bathroom. But then you walk out here, my absolute favorite part of the house. Well, there's a little hall closet here, which is actually huge. You go down and take a left and it's got tons of space. But my favorite part which sold me on the house was this dining area and this open living area. So this is huge. So you walk over here this way, let me give you a full preview. 
and then you have this entire open area. Sorry, of course I'm filming this right when there's like tons of light shining in. So you got this open area and then up here, I'm gonna do like an L couch over here with my TV and then you have this whole area which would be for dining table or whatever. I think I'm gonna do the L couch right here and then the TV up on that wall and then have like some blank space behind and then maybe like a dining table over here. This is just super open, really big. I absolutely love it. This is what sold me on the home. And then as you walk over here, you've got that same flooring here into the kitchen. Um, and you have the huge granite island, which I wanted. I wanted white cabinets. I was gonna be really happy if I could buy the home as is like this and I didn't have to paint them, which I don't. I mean, I just have tons of storage. The granite island is super, super nice. It's got the standard fridge cut out and then we do have like a little desk back there. But we have the same flooring here in the fridge. I'm not gonna show too much of the backyard. Um, but the island itself here already comes with the dishwasher. And then we just have tons of, these are called like soft close drawers. So you push them and then they just like softly close. Um, so the island was already done and sealed with this type of granite, which is just like a black like speck marble situation. Uh, I really do like it, but it was not my favorite. I kind of wanted, it's hard to put into words. It looks like marble, but it's kind of not like speckled like this, but Sorry, my camera overheated, of course, but we just have tons of cabinet storage down here. It just got a standard sink with a garbage disposal and then dishwasher. What I also loved was the stainless steel appliances and just that everything in the kitchen was just like, it was already set up with the white cabinets I wanted. I don't have to paint anything. What's cool is that there's no backsplash yet because it's a brand new home and the previous people who bought the home, um, they, I think I told you guys, I don't know if you've already seen, I don't know which video is going up first, but someone originally bought this home and then they fell out of escrow. So they actually did not put any backsplash so all this is empty so I'm gonna be able to choose my own which is cool I think I'm just gonna do like a marble going all the way up or maybe like some white and black tiles I'm not quite sure yet um, but there's tons of room all down here for backsplash so there's a lot of like creative stuff that I could do and then just so much cabinet space like it's crazy we have all this on the bottom all this cabinet space on the top I'm not even gonna be able to fill all this up nor do I want to I don't want to bring too much stuff to this place or clutter it up definitely don't feel like I have to fill up every single cabinet um, but there is tons of space if I were to need it. So we just have all of our appliances here. Of course, everything's brand new. No one has lived here yet, which I'm just so insanely grateful for. Um, tons of outlets. Some of them actually have USB too, like that one. So they're like upgraded so you can charge your phone and stuff or your iPad, which is cool. The fridge cutout is a standard size. I'm looking at Samsung or LG. And then if you walk over here, we have uh, the pantry actually. Just looks like this pretty standard pantry it looks exactly like the one i have at my current place we don't need much it's just christian and myself so and then there's a little desk here so they had this little desk cut out built in here which will be cool i'm not sure exactly what i'm gonna use this for but um yeah it's got the flooring going heading out over here i'm not gonna show you the garage or too much outside just for like security reasons i don't want to show too much detail of the front or the back just for our safety but the garage is super dope because it actually comes with a tesla hookup it has like an electronic an electric car um, like square outlet that's already built into the wall. So if you do have an electric car or anything like that, um, you can just hook it up in the garage and then it has a tankless water heater. Um, so, you know, there's not a huge tank in the garage like taking up a bunch of space and it is a three bay garage. So I have tons of room, like it's insane. Obviously I only have one car. So one more overview of the kitchen. If I kind of, let me just back it all the way up for you guys. So living area here moving into the kitchen and the kitchen is really what sold me on the home this was the main thing that was on my vision board that i just wanted a very open layout where i could invite friends and family and people would feel welcome and it would feel just open and beautiful and when all the light comes in here i'm actually going to be getting wooden shutters on all these windows so sorry for the glare today obviously they haven't installed those yet but that's definitely going to be the plan uh, but the kitchen is just really what sold me and i'm so incredibly grateful that it's not an island that I have to repair or that I have to do renovations to. Like the cabinets are already the color I want. Everything is just like literally done except the backsplash. Okay, so my camera died, awesome. It's just, you know, my biggest accomplishment, the video I've been waiting for for a year and <laughs> camera died, it's okay. So I switched to my phone. I'm gonna walk you guys upstairs and show you the rest of the house. So it's got that same flooring here. And then once we hit the stairs, like I said, it does go to carpet. Um, this is brand new carpet, but because of the kind of dark, like mauve color it is, it already looks kind of dirty in my opinion. I personally don't love that. So I do want to change the carpet to match these floors, but this is just kind of how it is right now. I think I told you guys at the beginning of the video that it's a two-story house, obviously. 
So you just walk up here and then you immediately have an open bonus room slash playroom. So I think what I'm gonna do for this for Christian is get like some bean bags and do a Lego table and just make this entire room his like playroom for his friends. I feel like I'm gonna keep our old blue couch that we had that was studded because I'm gonna get a really nice new couch for downstairs. So for that one, I'm gonna keep it and I'm just gonna put it up here for the playroom for him. And then if you turn to the right, it's kind of got this little like nook area. And this first room is going to be, I believe it's gonna be for Christian. I'm still trying to decide exactly. Let me see if I can zoom you guys out. There we go. So this is going to be Christian's room. Again, I do wanna switch it to that hardwood flooring, but I wanted to do this one for him because it also comes with a little desk like nook area for his schoolwork. I feel like will be really cool or he can do crafts or Legos in there and he can have you know his friends over. And then you move over here and he's got his own little um, walk-in closet. Not too big or extravagant, but he's seven. I mean, he doesn't need it to be crazy. Back up and just give you guys a whole room preview for little man. So that's perfect. And then, yeah, this is the bonus room area like this. And then you move in here and we do have the laundry room, which switches to like this tile flooring, which again, I don't love, but I will definitely get that changed. Turn on the light. And then it just has the hookup for the washer dryer. I definitely have a lot of ideas of what to do in here. I've been looking up like laundry rooms on Pinterest and I have a lot of cool ideas for that. And then when you go out here, this is going to be Christian's bathroom because his room doesn't actually come with one attached. So this will be Christian's bathroom. Really nice. Of course, everything's new. So it's all just pretty standard. Nothing super upgraded. If I want to like take off that mirror and put one with like a wooden, you know, frame or something, I can do that. But this kind of goes into that tile flooring that the house was built with as well, which is completely fine. It does have the high ceilings, which I really like. And he just has a standard shower in here. Oh, it doesn't have a pole. So we gotta install a pole up there and then put like his shower curtain, but pretty basic in here. Then we move over here and I think this room is gonna be the home gym. Now I could either do the home gym downstairs in that empty bonus room or I could put it up here because um, this house actually has more rooms than my current place. So I'm actually able to do a home gym and a guest room. So I'm gonna do, probably put my Peloton in here because um, this one has a smaller closet too. I have a Peloton bike, plus I wanna get the treadmill and then like a little weight rack. Um, so I just feel like having the home gym set up will be really nice. So that's just another room there. So I'm just gonna put a bed in here for if my friend Nicole or Janae or Samantha or my parents wanna stay over or whatever, this is gonna be its own guest room here. It's got a really nice closet. It's just, you know, pretty small, but um, again, it's fine. Very grateful for it. The, the closets in the house are really not extravagant or anything, but like even with the master, the closet I have at the, my current house is actually much better, but everything else sold me on the house that I really didn't mind. So then you're gonna turn right over here and this is gonna lead you into my room, which also has its own hookups on the wall here. So the AC unit that I have, I'll show you guys downstairs. Um, the upstairs I can have at a certain like 76 and then I could have the downstairs at like 85. Like you can, it's called zone one and zone two. So you can actually have your house being heated or cooled at different temperatures on different levels, which is dope. So any here, let me kind of step back, I'm trying not to show too much of the outside. Um, so this is the master bedroom here. A lot of space. I'm just gonna put my king bed here. I'm actually getting a new frame and then I haven't ordered nightstands yet. I'll probably put like my little vanity desk in here. Um, I don't have, I'm not like completely set on what I'm gonna do with the room yet. I wanna just really take my time and decorate this house very nicely and really take my time with it. Um, so yeah, a lot of space here. I think the room at my current place is a bit bigger as well, but this house has more rooms. So it's actually more square footage. They're just kind of split up differently. So then you walk in here and we go back to this like tile flooring. There's me. Um, and then I do have a double sink, which is cool. Even though I'm gonna be living alone, it's just still nice to have. Huge mirror, tons of cabinet space here. Let me turn this on for you. Over here, it's kind of weird. I wish there was a tub, but there's not. They decided to do this like cabinet instead. So I can actually have this wall knocked down and have this taken out and put a tub here if I want because the shower in here doesn't actually come with a tub, which I thought was kind of awkward for like a new build. I thought there'd definitely be a tub, but it's fine. If I want to put one in, I can. And then if I want to do like marble inside the shower or like upgrade it, I can, but it's just a standard like, um, like door walk-in shower, basically. There's two little seats in there. It's kind of got like the tile situation on the walls 
But all that can be changed later, you know, if I want to. I just want to make sure I get into the place. I'm in a safe place with Christian. We unload our stuff and just that we have a home. All the renovations and stuff I can kind of do later if if I want to. Um, so then here we just have our little toilet area and then this leads you into the closet. So the closet is just like the ones in the other room, but this is the biggest one in the house. So it is a walk-in closet. And then you've got all your storage here. Sorry, I don't want to show the outside. And then more storage down here if you walk down. So it is a walk-in, but it's actually not that big compared to like the closet I have now, I think is a little bit bigger. Um, it's fine though. I feel like these are kind of outdated. Maybe I'll like spray paint these white or rose gold or something, but not a big deal. Or I could take these out and I could do the Ikea like pack system in here where you pull out the drawers and you just do like a full custom closet. So either way, totally fine. Plenty of space, nice bathroom, master. And then when you go out here, I think I showed you guys at the beginning. Um, yeah, this is just like an overview of the upstairs. And then we have this piece here. So I could actually get this knocked down and just get like little um, pieces going up where you can like look through. So it's just all open up here. You can actually like look downstairs, which would give you just like, I don't know, this view here. Maybe put like some artwork on the wall. I don't know. I'm still debating like what I completely want to do with that. Um, but yeah, that is pretty much the full house. One of a kind, one of the better boys I'm on your level, that's what you say But all I hear is noise, I don't